Hi, all right, we're back and we've finished spending our 14 minutes. <clears throat> As we look here, we'll see how what was once red is now separated into its components of spinning out. We've got yellow for the plasma here, red for the red cells, and if you look, the red cells are back here also. These red cells that are in here are probably pretty close to being dead. They're very light. Uh, and they're the same weight as these platelets are here. That's why they're in here. And the science behind that is that if you, to get the really strongest platelets, they're about the same weight as the lightest red cells. And so you almost have to dip into that red cell layer to get the really strong, uh, robust platelets. So that's kind of the, the technology behind why you've got a little bit of red in there. Uh, now I could if I wanted to and sometimes uh, they'll have us just uh, draw the red out to where it just gets really just those platelets. Uh, but for this purpose here we're perfectly fine with this uh, in, for injection use. Okay, so I'm going to place this back in here and I've got two syringes that will help me separate this process easily enough. The first one has a spacer on it and this is going to allow me to only go down so far and pull the plasma off the top. I'm going to be very careful not to disturb those platelets as I pull this out until I get air. Now normally in surgery we would put this into a syringe and it would be used to spray and can actually stop bleeding be used as a hemostat. Now with this syringe what we'll do is we'll go down and actually mix this solution up. So I'll pull this up and then I'll spray it back together and mix the solution together. Kind of like that. So that's my platelets. These run. are your concentrated your platelets. platelets. So if you had a normal platelet load of 100,000, this would concentrate it six times. So you'd have 600,000 or maybe even close to, uh, I've got to go on. Uh, yeah, it didn't matter. Yeah, there you go. I'll just do this because I'm covering this kit with a new splatter. So I get this as close. So we end up with about three and a half cc's of an injectate from original draw of 18 cc's of whole blood. Great. PRP. Ready to go back in. Ready to go back in.